What's going on everybody? Welcome to the YouTube channel. It's your boy Nakat and today I actually have a very special guest. I got my boy Uno Deluxe who is currently ranked number six on the doubles ladder and currently the second best Garnet player but is definitely the number one solo Garnet player in the singles ladder for multiverses. And as you can see with being number six in the doubles ladder that also puts him as the number one Garnet player in the doubles ladder currently. I'm saying her name right, correct? Garnet? 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 Yeah. I, I'm pretty sure it's Garnet. <laughs> All right, bet. I'm just making sure. I don't watch the show, but you already know. She's a very <laughs> popular character. Steven, uh, Steven's universe is super popular, so I just want to make sure that I'm getting it correct. But Close enough. Let's start off with what's your overall opinion of this character and her viability, because to be honest, I feel like she's a sleeper pick amongst the rest of the cast. Um, yeah, you really... She's very simple and... Honestly, she's very simple. <laughs> and I feel like she's simple but very effective like, and super strong. Like, you get in, get out, and yeah, she's just bobs and weaves. Bobs and weaves, bro. When, when you're hitting me, I feel like, honestly, I'm locked down. Like, I can't get out of her yeah. attack. She's like, it seems like she may not be a sortie, but she still has a lot of range given how big she is. And I'm seeing that when I'm doing this little rapid jab, her fists actually grow in size, and you have some armor there, correct? Yep, that's exactly right. That's correct, man. All right, so let's actually get into the aerials. Do you want to explain up air for me real quick, or upward aerial? Uh, yeah, really. Uh, well, as you know, the game describes Garnet as like a horizontal character. Okay. But she's still her vertical is actually not that bad. Like, um, with this combined with like the triple jump perk, like she can, um. She could combo you in the air. It's not very uh, strong, uh -huh. but you can still get kills with it. So, yeah, it looks like I hit you right there. You're not going yep. too high up, but it still looks like it does a good enough damage. And, of course, it still pops you up above your opponent just a little bit for you to pretty much juggle them. Uh, the key, even in other platform fighters, in my opinion, is for the most part, you never really want to be above your opponent, given the fact that they will have the opportunity to just pretty much harass you from below yeah exactly. so what about her what about this move this is her neutral aerial yeah yeah how does how does this work do you approach with this at all uh i try to but honestly it's very it definitely has its use i want to use it more because as you can see you see like the four hitboxes in the corner where it lights up those are the hitboxes uh-huh and like if i land on you like directly in the middle like under in between her legs you won't get hit like i hit you with my light see i like, see, right there, I I see. Missed you completely oh my god so gosh. like it's a very like precise piss box it's large but uh it's <laughs> precise at the same time so you might get lucky and you could hit somebody and spike them uh off stage you or, can't so this does have a spike hitbox i saw i yes, kind of ground it, bounced a little bit when you hit me with her foot yeah yes on the foot it definitely spikes okay word, word. but um as you can see, the startup is also very long. So in this game, you know, everything's very fast paced. Yeah, of course. So like, there are times where I'm trying to get in with somebody and I'm just starting up this move and I just get hit before I can even extend my limbs. Sometimes so, uh, yeah, I have but... that problem with uh, Wonder Woman. Not not normally because she's pretty fast, but usually when I'm using her forward aerial, it has like that little bit of startup at the beginning. So it almost makes it so that I have to preemptively throw out the move instead of just like, okay, I'm going to hit them now. Let me throw it out. And it comes out instantly. It's like you have to time yeah. it a bit before if you're yeah. actually going to use it. Yeah, you have to be a little bit precise with this move, surprisingly. So, Despite like how uh, large it looks, you have to be a little bit, you know, precise. <laughs> Tell me a little bit about her forward aerial. I realize that when I'm doing this, I can actually throw out hit one and stop if I want to. Or mm -hmm. if I keep pressing it, it's just like a two swing combo. Yep, that's exactly right. Like you can, uh, you can uh, throw out both or just the one. Is there any, uh, is there any time where throwing out one is better than throwing out the two or vice versa? Um, vice versa for sure. Like, um, well, obviously you can't throw out the two if I'm throwing out the one. But what I would do when I'm approaching someone, like, uh, you know how during my when I play you, like I'll snipe somebody at the ledge. Yes. Uh, yeah. So what I'll do is I'll throw as I'm approaching, I'll throw the the first, and then I'll throw the second as I land. So I have like that because the second one is way uh, stronger and larger. Yeah. Yeah, there's actually like a basic combo you can do with the flying combo that I always use in every match. It's super useful, especially like when the opponent's lower percent or like beginning of the game. 
you know they're like around here they're like you know chilling doing whatever they're doing uh -huh. and then i could just come in boom boom and they always want to use that and you could take it even further if you want and go one two one two and then you know, follow them off stage if you can but obviously they're going to be di and they're going to be dodging you know uh you're gonna have to like adapt yeah it's pretty much you're gonna have to read what option they choose and just follow up accordingly exactly yeah so your timing just needs to be on point okay yep. that's dope that's dope and then uh let's talk about downward aerial how do you feel about this move i mean it's a spike so <laughs> yeah it's just like there's nothing really much to say about it it's just like your standard spike let me uh, see what it does to you if you're grounded real quick yep okay so it does it, it looks like it has the ability to kill off of a ground bounce but like at a much higher percent probably i want to yeah. say maybe like 130 ish will kill you ground bounce so she's pretty heavy so other characters are definitely going to die to that earlier very angry or very impressive yep that's useful well, but then of course it does have the spike property so yeah it's just generally a spike pretty much yeah <laughs> this is a standard spike in this game as as some wind up too so this is other this is another move where you have to like preemptively get it ready to go but it seems like the hitbox yeah. is pretty big it doesn't seem like it's too narrow so you'll be able to hit your opponent yeah as you can see you can also charge it for a ground pound but i don't really uh use it. i don't really see much for, it takes too long. I feel like this game's really fast paced. Uh -huh. If it takes too long, I usually just throw it away. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> so, so actually, let's talk about her uh, grounded attacks now. Let's talk about her neutral grounded attack. Just a standard punch, and of course, you can charge yep. it as well. When do you and ever apply this in a match? Um, to be honest, in my general gameplay, I don't really use it, but I will try to use it more often because it's definitely uh, obvious. It has no armor, but the the dash forward is kind of useful. Yeah. So I, yeah. So I think I might use it more. I know you use this move a lot. You use her forward oh, hell yeah. a lot. Now, from what I've seen from playing you, she has armor when she does the slam, but it seems like when she's doing this, there is no armor. You can actually hit her out at the beginning yeah like she actually has variations out of the rapid jab too not just the armor move like she has uppercut if you hold up after the rapid jab and press a which is a great anti-air and also kills in later percents and then she has this move which is you know you see it like it has a little uh, dash forward and it sends them at a lower angles in generally but i don't really use it it's not it doesn't i'm not sure if it kills i don't know i just rather do if I could do this, I could just do the armor. I am gone. Got it, got it. I didn't actually know that those variations existed, to be honest. Yeah, they are uh, very useful. At least the uppercut. Super useful, especially on that mansion stage where everyone hates. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, super useful. You could just cancel it if you wanted to. Uh huh. Oh, wait, that's good. So if someone, yeah, if someone is trying to approach you, like you see the other person's partner trying to approach you from behind, you can just be like, all right, yeah, no, nah, I'm not committing to this. Let me jump away. But it seems yeah. like you actually can't cancel the, the rapid jabs right there. Yeah, Once yeah, you yeah. start these rapid jabs, you're kind of locked into it. Whereas other yeah. characters, they can hit you with jab one, roll or jump immediately. Yeah, there was a issue where uh, <laughs> it was canceled uh -huh. for obvious reasons. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. yes. Like, it was too <laughs> Let's good. not it talk about good. that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a different time, different time. So, yeah, <laughs> we got the rapid jabs and then, of course, the oh armor God. after. And I find that to be the most annoying part. Do you actually mind doing the full jab combo real quick? Sure. Yeah, you're not going to hit me. I'm going to jump over it. Oh, okay, yeah, sure. That's where I feel like I have the opportunity to punish you either mm -hmm. before the armor comes out or after because she has a little bit of lag at the end. Yep. But when you actually catch someone in this, it's so devastating because that move really holds you into place, which allows the other per your partner or the other person's partner to pretty much stack damage on top of them being locked into that position. Yep. Or follow up. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah, of course, because it has like that little guaranteed knockback right there. But obviously, when you have attack DK, you just dodge right out of it. Of course, yeah. I like attack DK by the way. I think it's, I think it's. Yeah, necessary. I think it's a good uh, mechanic. I think it's necessary. Yeah, for sure, <laughs> especially for that move. Of course. So let's talk about upward grounded attacks. This move, in my opinion, I feel like I see you use this a lot. You want to explain why it's good and how much utility it actually has? Um, it kind of hits. I I believe it hits on the sides a little bit. Uh -huh. You see, like she's like bring up her fists. Uh, so it's a good like get off me option when you have like really 
that you can't really think. Like in the heat of the moment, you're like, oh, well, I gotta throw something out. Yep. He's on top of me. Get off of me. And then you can follow up, obviously, uh, your own up here or your teammate can follow up. Yes. It's very, very annoying to deal with. When I'm fighting you, I'm just like, okay, I'm on her. And then, bah, bah. or if I'm trying to land on you, right? I want to land on you if Wonder Woman's Nair. You're just like piecing me up, like, nah, get the, get the hell back. <laughs> <laughs> So I think that move is definitely super solid. And for an anti-air, just like a grounded anti-air, it has a lot of range. So again, landing on Garnet is pretty annoying. The fact that she's so big makes her so much easier to combo. You know how big characters are usually the day one combo food characters when people are trying to show off what they can actually do. It's yeah. just like, bruh, with this character, I feel like I can't really land on top of her safely. And even if I try to approach horizontally, she's got an option to check that as well. We haven't even gotten into the specials yet. So before we do that, let's actually mm -hmm. talk about her downward, uh, her, her grounded downward move, like her downward attack. What the hell is this? <laughs> it's actually pretty sick. Um, so she, as you see, she sends a shockwave that bounces her opponent into her, like on top of her. Okay. So you can actually do some cool stuff. Like you're too high a percent right now, but uh -huh. like around like a uh, hundred or so, like um, you could just do that into like up smash. Yo, let me if you let me to. get to that percent. I think that's, there we oh, go. Then, all right, I'm gonna be enough. So like that, you can combo off of it just like that. Yep. Yo, that's well, obviously like... you can see like um, the charge. It takes a while to charge up, but it's not that uh -huh. bad, I don't think. Well, like, let's see what it looks like with like just a, a short charge like that. Yeah, it's pretty short range, you see. Yeah. Try to hit me with so... the short range one so I can see where I go. Oops, that's that? wrong, but... Okay, so it'll still pop you up. Yeah. You got like, you don't have lasso entirely, but you have like a little little variation of a property of lasso by reeling someone in towards you i think that's really cool yeah i didn't even and know also that has, it that yeah it has armor as well as you saw so like it's not entirely unsafe to go for unlike uh you know some of the other moves <laughs> yeah of course so in terms of things that are unsafe and things that are safe i think everybody definitely wants to know a bit more about her specials what makes garnet a very unique character to the rest of the multiverse roster so let's start off with her neutral special Tell me about this. I see the music notes. I have no idea what this means. Uh, so, so really cool. Uh, she has stacks of singing buffs, I believe they're called. So like, as you can see, you fill up the meter after a while. And then with two, it gives her armor break and movement speed. So the first stack is just movement speed. And okay. the second stack is armor break. What and then the when you have heck? Stack, you have them together, yep. Wait, 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 wait. So she can buff her movement speed, but she can also buff armor break, like her ability to break other people's armor. Yep, and all her moves. That, no wonder. Sometimes I'd be wondering why my armor is not working versus you. Yeah. Annoying. And it's also, <laughs> yep, it's really sick and also well in, uh, how you say, doubles, because it applies to both her and her teammate if they're in range. That's so So rude. if you were on my team and in this aura, you will have both stacks if you manage to pull it off. That's so cool. But as you can see, like, in a game like Multiverse, <laughs> like, it's really fast paced. And you can't really, like, take the time, you know, and dance with your doubles partner. Which, we'll, uh, we'll get into later, but her signature perk kind of helps out with that. Gotcha. Okay. So, let's talk about her side special. Oh, she punch? does a, she, yeah, she does a little dash yep. after it, too. Like, okay, yeah, tell me about You'll this. Yeah, you'll see, like, uh, with a lot of her moves, she has uh, cooldown versions as well. I feel like she... I haven't looked into all the characters, but I feel like she has, like, uh, probably the m one of... At least one the of the characters cooldowns. that have, like, the highest cooldown versions of her moves, yeah. Okay. Like, the most variation, at least. And so, Rocket um, Punch is a move that you can actually use it to snipe people, right? Like, say you wanted to spike me if I'm just chilling here on this wall. Yeah. Would you be able to actually spike me? Yeah, depending obviously where I'm situated at the ledge. I got you, I got you. Let's actually try to do that. Yep. <laughs> that's good. No, that's good. So even doesn't matter, you can kinda just lock on to Oh, you gotta hold it. You can kinda no, just you gotta hold it. Yep. Uh-huh. You gotta hold it and you can just pretty much lock on to where someone is. Well, you can't lock on because it's a skill shot, so you actually have to control it to hit your opponent, correct? 
Yeah. Uh, with this move, you want to make like really sharp turns, especially if you, because you know how everyone loves to recover. Like uh, usually, like this, like, like right around to, like, there, get up, mm -hmm. like trying to get the trying to get up the ledge or maybe uh obviously like you can recover high yeah but most of the time uh when they're knocked low they're trying to get on the wall trying to climb up so you can uh yep take a sharp turn and just knock them down that's so dope that's super dope i know like sometimes when i'm playing you you usually opt to well usually opt to go for those if you have it instead of this because one you can kind of remain safe while also applying that pressure so i think that's really exactly. cool and I see that she has this like little tackle after that if her uh, yep. hands are on cooldown. But it doesn't seem like it kills or anything of that sort. But it's still nice that she has at least something just in case that option is not present anymore. It's actually very sick. I <laughs> it's very sick. You um, like the tackle. The shoulder is really sick. At first, I didn't really think much of it. But then, uh, you know, our mutual friend, Ebboy, brought it up. He was like, wow, this is really great. You should try it out more. I was like, you know what? Let me uh, try it out more in the lab. And I was like, oh my goodness, bro. <laughs> it's like, it's really, and I've been using it more in my gameplay. It's just super useful. There's no reason not to use it, to be honest. Like, here's what something cool you could do. You could do uh, the rapid the rapid jab. Yep. Oops. You need me to go over here? Yeah, it's fine. Cancel that. Boom. Oh, wow. Okay, never mind. I didn't even know I had that utility. God damn. All right. Yeah, it's really dope. And also, just in general, for quick movement, like, I, I say quick movement as this game doesn't have, like, super quick movement already. But, like, for that quick in-the-moment heat, like, in the in the, <laughs> in the, the super heat, yep. Yeah. You can just, like, reposition yourself real quick to get that extra range. Or, like, to move out the way. Yeah. So, it's just, like, you know, super dope. Super, it has a lot of utility. It works well as a whiff punish tool. That's that's super yeah. dope. So we went over neutral special. We went over side special. Let's talk about down special a little bit because this is a move that I don't really understand that much, but I see you use it all the time. Yeah, nobody understands it. Even though like uh, it looks like on your screen you might be able to catch your your opponent. Sometimes like uh, and it looks like you get to them really quick. Or so you might... I can't break this, right? Like I nope. can't do anything to it. And it's a tether, so basically from wherever you are, if I'm in between that, you'll actually pick me up while trying to go to your star. Can I hit you yep. out of you out of this? Like if you're yeah. charging at me, I can hit you. Yep. Okay. We got a move in progress. Like uh as we got a move in progress as I'm coming towards you, then I'll get hit. Got or a projectile. You. Got you. Okay. Nice, nice. Can we actually try that real quick? Yeah, sure. How how long is the cooldown usually on this move? Uh, it's not too long, honestly. It's like a few seconds. Oh shit! Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was, I was like, I'm gonna shoot the, I'm gonna shoot the hands yeah, at yeah. you. I thought it would uh, last a lot longer. Me so too. Like, oh wait, <laughs> you know what? I didn't hold it. That was the problem. As you can uh -huh. see, yeah. But on my screen, it looks like I made it to the star, but then it teleports me back to where the fist was, and I got knocked back. Okay, I see, I see. And so I remember you did a, uh, you did something where I was down here, and you. I, I guess you teleported to me and dragged me down into the blast zone with yeah. you, dog. And I was like, yo, what, like, what is going on, dog? Are you kidding me? I yeah, was in double, Yeah, in doubles, my partner can pick up the star, and then my partner becomes the point where I teleport. Wow, so like, okay. Yeah, and it has a property, I believe, that um, when I teleport to my partner, it stops both of our momentum. So, like, if they're getting comboed, I can save them by stopping the momentum and, like, uh getting them out of this weird situation that's crazy yeah this character is kind of sick i'm not gonna lie let's talk about her final special the special that we have not gotten to yet what the in the love. heck is this that's what the, that's the name <laughs> of the move it's actually called yep. the spark of love yep okay what does that do because i see now i got like electrical fists and everything i'm trying to I'm trying to wonder like yo what is this um uh, yeah so it's just a standard projectile you can aim it up you can aim it sideways, you can just aim it any way you want, honestly. And then you can get the buff from running over it, and then explode after a short amount of time. I got debuffed by standing into that. Yep. But can you actually debuff me? Let's see. Yeah. If I do this. Yeah. I got the debuff. Yep. I can debuff you. So either if you stand on that or you get hit with the electrical fists, you, you get an electrical uh -huh. debuff. That's super dope. Yeah, and I believe what the electrical debuff does is that you take more damage. Oh, that's not good. 
<laughs> that's not good. That's not good. <laughs> yeah, pretty great. <laughs> like, I, I, I think I've died to this before, by the way, yep. when the explosion. Yeah, it does a lot of knockback. So I have definitely died to that by just standing on top of that. And I remember after the first time I died to it, I said, never again. I'm never standing on that thing again. I'm out of here. Yeah, in the future, there are setups where you can kind of like, uh, how you say, uh, knock your opponent into it. Like, okay. if I do this and then boom. And then oh. maybe hopefully you land in it by the time <laughs> like it explodes. If that but, uh, debuff was, was on this platform, it would have caught me and I would have died. Yep. That's dope, man. Oh shit. Okay, yo, that move is scary. What yeah. what about the spark though itself? Oh, that can just hit yep. you like that. It's a hitbox. Alright, cool. Good to know. Good to know. So even off stage, do you ever feel like it's good to try to shoot that spark off stage or no? Nah? Um generally not really because because like sometimes it could be a good idea depending it's just that it's a very slow moving projectile and even if it hits it's not really gonna like stop an opponent from coming back gotcha. to stage, i don't feel like gotcha. i feel like if i if i have my rocket punch i route out obviously gonna do the rocket punch it's just better knockback bigger hitbox i can actually control it for the most part as you can see like the angle right there yep. not that great <laughs> Sure. So Uno, when do you actually use the aerial up special? To be honest, I don't actually. I super underutilize it. It's really bad because it's super strong, and I think it's super good. I just always forget. <laughs> I always forget about this move. Honestly, it's just like a T pose. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, it looks and like it had a little hitbox like on her head too when I just yeah. did that. Like it's really, it's pretty strong. But you don't use, is there any reason you think you might underutilize it? Um, I was just like super hardcore focused, just like on my neutral. Like, I always, uh, how you say, I always just focus on like, okay, like what's my main game plan? You know, so like, I was like, okay, I really like flying combo and this is obviously really good. Uh -huh. So I just abused those two things in the beginning, like in the previous beta alpha test. And I was like, all right, you know, I kind of got my game plan, like, and the, you know, Rocket Fist. Gotcha. <laughs> And then like, uh, so I obviously uh, I tend to overlook things, but like, yeah, I'm gonna try to add this more because it's definitely like a good solid uh, anti-air. Uh huh. Uh, your opponent's above, you can't quite reach them. Boom, and then they'll die off the top. Okay. And so, uh, do you want to try to hit me with that? Let's see if I die. At yeah. Okay. Never mind. Never mind. I yeah, see it. Garnet, I see it. I see it. Yeah, Garnet is super. Also, consider that Garnet is like pretty heavy, and she's like uh, super. Uh, she lives for a long time. Yeah. With, especially with really good DI, so like, yeah, that's pretty impressive. <laughs> you even got launched that far. So let's let's uh, talk about this, right? After you shoot the spark of love, you have a clap. Yes. How good is this? How strong is it actually? Would you kill me if you hit me with that clap? Because it sounds like it's massive. At this uh, percent, I don't think so. You got close. So other close characters would have definitely sure. died for sure. That's yes, exactly. Really good At earlier percent, yeah. That's, That's a, a really good anti air. You got like Bugs Bunny or whoever like jumping above you, trying to be evasive. Just uh -huh. clap them out the air. That is nuts. So I really like that even if you do use her specials and they're on cooldown, they just nice lend work. you other tools in that moment that you can use to kind of make up for that. Maybe they're not as good as the special, but they're good enough for like the purpose of right there. You have an anti-air that can actually really kill somebody, given the fact that if you try to anti-air with this, it doesn't have the most ability to actually kill, regardless if you can charge it or not. Because if you yeah. charge it, seems like you have that part where you get like that third hit and that will probably kill but when it comes to just like that clap by itself it seems like it just gets the job done immediately yep that's, exactly that's super sick so let's talk a bit about her perks what do you uh -oh. think or rather what is the set of perks that you're using the most nowadays that uh basically lend you the ability to take all these dubs over everybody because i haven't really looked at her signature perks at all so mm -hmm. i'm not sure what the garnets are running you nowadays and everybody's combat. different right someone else yeah, can find course. a uh, set of perks that they feel like are more suited for her character but what are you using nowadays and uh what do you think is the go-to in terms of perks for garnet um, her signature perk, I feel like there's only one choice for me personally, mm -hmm. but I feel like it should, it's objective, bro. I don't know. <laughs> unless, unless some people come up with some crazy stuff later on, or maybe there's something I don't know about, 
but I feel like Electric Groove is just like the obvious choice. Applying electric debuffs to enemies as Garnet or, or her ally grants stacks of Garnet Sing buff. It might be a little bit bugged, I feel like, because there are times where I do apply the electrical debuff and I don't uh, get my Sing stack. Mm -hmm. But for the most part, you know, I'll get a random Sing stack here or there. Compared to Marker, where it's Garnet's Rocky Gauntlets will spawn her Marker at their location when they are destroyed. The Marker will not spawn if it is on cooldown. So I feel like. I'm not sure what I would use that for because I use my rocket punch mostly either to as a get off me option like if somebody's like approaching me or getting really close to me or if I'm like and um, now the fighting begins well yeah like if they're approaching me or they're getting really close to me I'll use rocket punch to knock them back get some breathing room buff myself up do what I gotta do got you but if I have the marker perk then I'll use my I have the star spawning in front of me i guess that's kind of useful but like when i knock them away with the gauntlet i can just spawn my star by myself i don't really need that perk like okay. it's gonna it's just gonna spawn in front of me either way and if i use it off stage the star is gonna be somewhere over here which i guess you could probably do some wacky stuff but uh i mean do you really want to rely on this move to kill your opponent and you put yourself in a bad situation yeah that could that and, could uh, be a turnaround like a reversal like, for the other team where now you're off yeah. stage they could try to kill and, you early especially like with voids tom and jerry they have a really big spike you don't yeah. want to be off stage with that thing being present especially with the network as it is right now in the alpha like i'm not trying to be off stage <laughs> so for me that perk i feel like the electrical debuff perk where i get sing stacks you see, there it is. Yeah, I saw it. And I got both too now, because you're standing in it. Like, I feel like this is way more useful. Both me and my ally gets it in doubles. I feel like that's like the best signature perk. Got you, got you. All right, nice, nice. And so, in your honest opinion, what do you think are the matchups with her that you struggle against the most? And where do you see her, let's say on a general tier list amongst like the other characters, where do you think she would be? Um, the matchups that struggle the most, um, I feel like Jake is pretty hard because he's just so small. It's like really hard to like land a hit on him. Cause like, as you know, I'm trying to like, I feel like Garnet's bread and butter is like the flying combo, the one, two. And this is always, this is always good against no matter who, gotcha. but the, the main thing is her, her, uh, flying combo, gotcha, gotcha. but Jake is so small. I think he's probably the smallest character in the game. If I'm not wrong, he's pretty, he's pretty <laughs> like, tiny. It's really hard to hit him. And he also like the, he has the extendo fist. So it's like, oh man, he's really annoying to get in on. And he has like the anti air with his up smash. It's just like, it's a bad time sometimes. Oh man. But uh, well, who else? Who else? Harley as well. I, I mean, I feel like everyone struggles <laughs> against Harley. <laughs> like, you know, that her hitboxes crazy. are ridiculous. Crazy. I'm trying to fly. I got my fist out. You see that fist? You see how yes, big I that see fist how big is? That fist is. Uh -huh. And she got her limbs out and she's hitting me. It yep. makes no sense. Yep. I'm complaining. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yep. No, it's to get it off, bro. Get it off. <laughs> get it off. It's fine. It's unfortunate. Um, where she is. Yeah, I feel like Harley and Jake. Uh, I'm trying to think. Um, Rain, like this is just singles, like in terms of singles. Gotcha. Um, Rain Dog, actually very doable if you have the uh, projectile block perk and uh, some utility perks like for movement. Uh, but Rain Dog can box. I haven't fought like a Rain Dog that can box in singles yet, but I feel like it's doable for Garnet. Um, what else is there? Mm, yeah, I haven't really. F I feel like Jake and Harley are probably like the hardest for now. Huh. And in terms of where she is on the tier list, mm, I th I feel like I see like a lot of other tier lists, and I, you know, I have no problem. I think she's like, I think I put her around like A tier. I feel like people put her on the lower spectrum of the tier list usually, but I think as time goes and more Garnet players come out, I think uh, yeah. people's opinions will change because I think she's actually pretty, pretty damn good. Yeah, she's simple, but she's just she's just so strong. It's like it doesn't matter. <laughs> I think uh, the way I look at characters in this game when it comes to them being simple, I look at it as like even Wonder Woman, for instance, where Wonder Woman, sure, in execution, you could say, oh, yeah, she's easy relative to like the rest of the cast that might have more complicated combos. 
but then when it comes to actually succeeding at high level play with that character that's when it becomes difficult and that's where character mastery really starts to shine and show because just mm -hmm. because a character is simple aka like shaggy would be the baseline for this game doesn't mean that that character is simply going to succeed off the fact that he's easy to play you actually got to be good with shaggy to make it really shine yeah for sure there's some shaggies i run into that i'm like holy shit bro like excuse my language <laughs> bro, like, oh my god bro like <laughs> i'm like what am i supposed to like this guy's moving on me like, <laughs> like it's really interesting like his hitbox when like, he's moving it's like it's really hard to fight honestly uh like you can't really counter you can't really uh challenge it really like you have to be uh a little bit smarter than that of course kind of like with garment like you have to like kind of whiff punish all right then all right well i think that's gonna wrap it up for there guys hopefully this has been an interesting and informative guide for you on garnet i want to thank uno for actually being here uno's a really good friend of mine thank you for being here uno i appreciate it and good yeah, luck no on problem. the rest of your run in the the leaderboard in teams and singles and guys if you're looking for more fire multiverses content then hit that subscribe button and of course be sure to follow me on my socials and i'll also be plugging uno socials in the comment section and the description of this video so be sure to show him some love too and we'll catch you on the next one let me know who you guys want to see next and even if you don't want to see a guide let me know what kind of video you want to see next all right this is the cat take it easy peace out deuces